feel kind of lonely today, actually. Which, you know, was gonna happen at some point. I think it's just because I've been seeing a lot of families, and couples, and I'm just like, what? Well, like, where's my family? Where's my couple? saw this place for a little bit and now it feels like I'm already leaving but I've been here for two weeks and it is honestly been so lovely I've spent so much time just reading on that balcony I finished Damien by Herman Hesse and then Jack lent me one of his books because I was out so I read this and <laughs> I think he gave it to me because it's like short and he knew I'd be able to finish it before I left but I was expecting a summer read and this is like low-key, high-key traumatizing about war and um, yeah, really good though. I really enjoyed it and a very quick read if you're looking for something, but I'm just getting packed up. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the Paris Diaries. A very special, I think, final episode. Um, woken up in this beautiful hotel because today I'm going to the Zadig and Voltaire fashion show and it all feels very bizarre, but here we are. Also, they're dressing me um, and I tried on some beautiful pieces the other day. Oh shit. Oh. oh, that's my alarm. Okay, I need to get up, I need to get up. Anyway, my outfit hasn't arrived, it's being tailored. Um, and the show's at 7 p.m. tonight, so I'm kind of stressed. such a nice shower. I had one last night. I'm gonna have one this morning, of course. Can't wait to get ready here later. <laughs> Mini hotel room tour, robes, um, bed, huge ass mirror, like the biggest mirror I've ever seen in my life. And then two typical, I was trying to do some work there yesterday, but it was on a still coffee machine wardrobe toilets in here because I don't know she's just separate oh fun and then we just look her 
onto the courtyard. Wow. Easy. There's breakfast happening down there. <laughs> Delivery, that's not my clothes. Do people say? Hi guys, look at my nails. I just did them, I'm kind of proud of them. Got my coffee. Um, I'm in a hotel. You're probably wondering, what are you doing here? What are you doing in Paris in a hotel? And where have you been? The last that you guys saw, apart from my Paris favorites video, I had just moved into my new sublet in Bastille and I was gonna be there for two weeks. And I'm traveling alone and there's so many opportunities to vlog and to take you guys along i was also just feeling i was just in like a weird mood about putting on the camera and i couldn't really like form sentences properly but you know we move i just decided to take a little break just enjoy being in paris enjoy the new friends that i was meeting i did film some clips over the past week and a bit which i will now include i met up with jack he's such a sweetheart we just went and got coffee and then sat by the sand for hours in the sun just like shit talking talking about books he was telling me about the novel that he's writing which is absolutely insane we actually had a really interesting discussion about how we felt both being in london and I don't know just like not really feeling 100% ourselves there and then coming to Paris and being like oh 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 maybe maybe this feels nicer then I had this grand idea to make a video where I took you guys along with me to just do some drawing in the Musée d'Orsay I did take some footage and I did do some drawing but if you guys are new here um, I studied art history in college at Trinity I realized not only do I love learning about art it's something that I would want to try and pursue maybe in the future maybe not the last time I was consistently picking up my pencil or charcoal I was doing the live drawing classes in London which was such an amazing experience the thing about art and this goes for music and making movies and it's not just like drawing and painting stuff but you need to create shit art before you're gonna make something good like that's always gonna be the case the first thing that you make is not gonna be your greatest piece that you'll ever do it's not gonna be show-stopping people probably won't really care about the first thing that you do so I just think I've been struggling with properly starting and especially starting when I make YouTube videos because if I film myself sketching I'll probably show you guys what it looks like and in my head I can't show you guys anything that's like not good doing the thing that you've told yourself your whole life that you're kind of good at and it's the thing that you want to do then becomes really difficult whenever you actually start to do it because you have such high expectations for yourself and in your head people have high expectations for you I don't know, <laughs> I don't know I do want to say I feel like there's some new viewers who have come along for the Paris Stars which is so exciting so hi, I'm Moya, lovely to meet you short introduction, I'm currently travelling around some countries in Europe I've been living in Paris for the past month and a half I'm going to Barcelona tomorrow and then I'm spending I'm spending July and August in Florence and I'm going to art school. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, back to today. <laughs> back to today. Today is surreal. Today doesn't feel real. I woke up and I did some editing. I had some breakfast. I had a coffee, a double espresso. We were having another double espresso. I spent lunchtime running around trying to find some film and makeup and other random bits. Um, but this evening, I'm going to the Zadig and Voltaire fall winter fashion show and dinner and drinks and this just feels so surreal to me. I'm screaming the dress arrives. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, the details, the sequence. What? This 
That's my name. That's my name. <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. Yeah, me too. Ah! <laughs> okay, some more. Okay.